I'm Ash. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Do you ever wonder why your chords aren't sounding as lush or as interesting as some of your favorite artists? Every time you try to look it up, you get this giant encyclopedia full of music theory terms or somebody just going on and on about stuff that doesn't really make sense. But today's video isn't gonna be one of those. I'm gonna get right into it. Ash has got you today. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be taking a quote unquote boring progression like this and turning it into something a little bit more interesting. Now, I will be getting into some music theory, but, but don't, don't, don't click away, please. I'm gonna tell you a little secret, I'll whisper it. There's a lot of overlapping concepts in all the different stuff that music theory teaches. I'm gonna show you the stuff that actually made a difference in my music. Now, before we even get to chords, you wanna start by deciding the overall vibe for the song. In other words, your first theory term, which is gonna be your song's key, AKA the key signature, AKA the vibe. Now keys, they all come in different flavors. They all look like this. There's a big, big old list of them, but in order to keep things simple, we're just gonna focus on these two, major and minor. Major for more uplifting, happy songs, and minor for bassier or sad, melancholic songs. The reason why a lot of your chords may not be working is because it lacks emotion, and a lot of artists leverage the major and minor scales, switching them around in order to really express that emotion. Plus, you also have all these different keys, based on all the different notes of the piano, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Just talk about two of them, A minor and C major. Why are we doing this? It's because these two are the easiest keys to learn. All of the chords that you can make in A minor or C major use the white keys and they all carry the same shape all the way across. And with this, you can use a little trick called the write and shift hack. This is where you write a song in one key that's easier to write in, and then you shift or transpose it into a more difficult or a vibier key. Some melodies, some chords, they just work better in certain keys. I don't know the science behind it, I just know that it sounds Excuse good. Excuse me. Uh, 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 uh. You should be learning all aspects of music theory if you want to be taken seriously as a music producer. No, not a chance. I will not let you boss me around today. I have taken music theory. I've been playing piano classically since I was 12. But if I'm being 100% honest with you, I only used a small handful of what I was actually taught. So if you're nervous, you're overwhelmed with all the potential music theory that's out there, don't worry about it. Popular artists have what the theory police consider entry level knowledge of music theory, but honestly, that's really all you need. It's all about how you apply those to your songs. You already have enough stuff to learn when it comes to Ableton, sound design, mixing, so don't sweat it too much with the theory stuff. Keep watching and you'll see all these little tricks in action. Let's get into it. I like to write sad songs, so for this example, we'll be using the key A minor. We've picked our key. Let's figure out how to make chords. Instead of just randomly stacking notes together to make something potentially cool, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make them. I call this the one, three, five stack. So command shift M to make a brand new blank MIDI plate, a <laughs> blank MIDI bar, and we'll pick any key. For this example, since we're in A minor, let's make our A minor chord. So on each key, seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are all the notes on the A minor key. To make the chord, you go to notes three and five. So one, three, and five. Two, three, four, five. And that's what that'll sound like. And like I said, since we're in A minor, we don't have to worry about memorizing or adding any of the black keys because that'll cause a lot of confusion if you're just starting out. So put together this chord progression. F, which is made one, three, five, same way. G major, made the same way, starting on G, one, three, five, and then finally ending on our A minor which sounds like this. 
That's cool, that's nice and all, but we wanna make that a little bit more interesting. How are we gonna do that? So there's a bunch of different technical terms for what I'm about to show you, but the simplest way to look at it is to modify our existing chords. And so the blanket term I like to use are mods. So we're gonna go through a few of these mods that I like to do. First one is inversions. That means it's taking our standard one, three, and five chord stack and then just rearranging the order. For this, I wanna make it a little bit lower. So we're gonna take the C here and move it to the other C down below over here. And that'll give it a bit of a different voice. And we're just rearranging the order. Same with A, we'll take the top note and bring it down to the bottom. So now our chord progression is sounding more like So it's the same notes, but you're giving it sort of a different tone and different voice, which can really help with adding more emotion or different vibe to the chords that you pick. The next easiest mod I like to do is the seventh. I've spoken about this in other videos, but it's essentially just adding to your one, three, five stack and adding the seventh note as well. On our example here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will be our E, and we add that on top of the chord, and you get something that sounds like this. So compare it to how we had it before in the basic version, from that to this. Same chord, just a little bit of mods on it. Combine that with the inversions and mm, so emotional. And then the last thing we can do is what I like to call big note energy. And that's similar to the inversions, but instead of moving the note, we're copying it over to the next one. On our same F chord, we're gonna take the F note here and copy it, hold control and drag it down. And then you have the octave down. So it's the same note, just on a different spot on the keyboard. This, this. And that really gives you an even more, an even fuller chord. And then I've also gone ahead and done this with the G chord, but instead you can put it up high. So the B, copy it all the way up, bam. Oh, pretty. And then also with the A minor, I've done the same thing with the C, bring it all the way up. Ooh. Love it. This is the fastest way to get really, really full chords. So with all of these different types of mods, you can add them to your chords, add them to different sounds. For example, make the bass an octave lower, and you can come up with some really cool stuff really quickly, like. As for that melody, that's something I'm gonna have to address in another video. That's gonna be it for today. If you liked this, if you learned something from the video, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell. It'll really, really help me out. I also wanna give a huge, huge shout out to my patrons because yes, I have launched my Patreon. Super new to it. But uh, on it right now, I've got project files for all the one hour challenges and all the serum presets that go along with it. I'll be expanding it for sure to add more stuff like exclusive videos, early access, so Melody video, that might be coming sooner than you think if you uh, sign up on Patreon. Song feedback on your own tracks, you can send them directly to me. Check that out if you wanna support the channel, but if free is more your style, I also have my goodies page available as well. You can go ahead, click the link below to get access to that. That also has project files. Um, it's got my very first sample pack in there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, DM me. I always love seeing what you come up with. But other than that, I hope this helped you. Go out there, write some beautiful chords now. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. Go check out the Patreon. Bye. Bye.